The amount of methods that people have devised to solve the Rubik's Cube is large enough to fill several encyclopedia volumes, but people tend to cluster around just three. CFOP, RU, and ZZ. This hasn't always been the case. Corner's first methods dominated the cubing world in the early 80s, and in the early days of the revival, Petrus was considered a viable alternative. There are occasionally times when other methods will seem to rise in popularity and have a chance of overtaking the main methods, before dying back down and seeing only a few people actively use them. The ZB method is one of those. ZB stands for Zborowski Brukem, and was invented by two people independently, Zbigniew Zborowski and Ron van Brukem. The main motivation was to find a method that would have a very low number of moves, as this would ideally make times quicker. When it was announced around 2002, many top cubers within the community were instantly fascinated by it and attempted to put it into practice. So what is the ZB method anyway? ZB starts the same as CFOP, where you make a cross in F12 pairs. However, when solving the final F12 pair, you also orient all of the edges at the same time. Then, you use one algorithm to solve the rest of the cube in one step. Because all the edges are already oriented, this cuts the number of cases that need to be learned down to just an eighth of full last layer. As a result, many cubers started working on learning it, thinking it would be the CFOP killer. Chris Hardwick kept a journal of his attempts to learn the full method, and other cubers put up websites full of algorithms, such as Lars Vandenberg, Dan Harris, and Jason Baum. It looked like it was the future of cubing. Then, of course, people realised the major downside to the method. The last step consists of a massive 493 cases, a lot of which look extremely similar to each other. While the first part of ZB could be done semi-intuitively in some parts, this was just too much. Slowly, the popularity died down and everyone moved back to CFOP for the most part. The first person to learn full ZB, Chris Tran, didn't finish until 2009, and is one of only three known cubers to know the full method, alongside Morley Davidson and Jabari Nerudin. Jabari is the only known cuber to achieve a sub-10 average using full ZB. It's certainly not the worst method in the world. It kickstarted the idea of finding a practical method for reducing the number of last layer cases by influence during F2L, and ZZCT can almost be seen as a successor. In any case, it's definitely worth a look for any cuber interested in methods that may not have taken off for one reason or another.